Hard to believe, but in less than two weeks, Golden One Center will officially open to the public. And the new sports complex is expected to add a spark, of course, to Sacramento's sleepy downtown. The same location was at the center of another massive revitalization project decades ago, creating the Capitol Mall. New tonight, CBS 13, Steve Large is live downtown with the similarities between the two iconic projects. Steve? And here is a live look at the construction site of the Golden One Center from Capitol Mall. This is a case of history repeating itself. Just as the Golden One Center is supposed to breathe new life onto these downtown streets, the Capitol Mall was supposed to do the same thing more than 50 years ago. This 1950s Sacramento Bee political cartoon shows big, bad, creeping blight crawling into downtown Sacramento. The campaign to clean up the West End worked. Photos showing then-Governor Pat Brown at a groundbreaking redevelopment signs advertising new land available. Hundreds of homes and businesses, including parts of Sacramento's Japantown, were bulldozed in the name of progress. Professor Thomas Jew has studied the redevelopment history. I've actually looked at some old pictures and then I went downtown and took my own pictures in the same blocks. The, the hole where the arena was, um, that was a hole. Um, in 1959. The next chapter in this history lesson, Sacramento's Entertainment and Sports Complex. I'm inside Sacramento's History Museum where they already have a wall dedicated to the Golden One Center there, right around the corner from a room devoted to past plans of Sacramento's downtown. This old photo shows the vision for the Grand Gateway to Sacramento. Historian William Berg calls the Capitol Mall redevelopment a failure. Not to, not to shake a finger at it, but to say, let's not do that again. We can learn from that. We can teach from that. The test of time has shown the 1950s Capitol Mall redevelopment turned Sacramento's downtown into a dormant central district. Sprawling, but sleepy. Now, a new effort at revitalization. The same place half a century later, the Golden One Center, giving downtown Sacramento another shot. And I should mention the Sacramento History Museum has that exhibit open right now of all the development plans for downtown Sacramento in the past, so you can take a stroll of Sacramento history for yourself. Okay. That'll be something to see. Yeah, no question. Need to see those old pictures. Steve, thanks. Golden One Center is getting its final touches, meanwhile. Today, our park tower camera Caught construction workers painting the giant Golden One Center logo on the roof. Yeah, we sped it up just a bit. And the King's owner, <laughs> Vivek Ranadive, even stopped by to say hello, snapping this picture with one of the workers. And the Sacramento Kings partnered with an award-winning tech company to bring fans something they've never experienced before. It's a real-time app. Now, the app follows fans to access and or allows fans, I should say, to access information about transportation, parking, and uh, arena lines. There's even an advanced gaming platform for fans to make predictions and compete against one another as well. The app is available soon on iTunes and on Google Play. And oh wait, there's more. Singer and fashion designer Gwen Stefani announced she'll be doing a one-hour private performance for a charity event at the Golden One Center. For more information on that and updates about the arena, you can check out our website, cbs13.com.